Kev Edwards Sim Rally here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review on the SSH shifter. Uh, this is a budget shifter for under a hundred pounds. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight in. So the great thing about this this shifter is that you can actually modify it yourself. Um, it comes in various different colours. You can when you go on the website, just scroll down. There's a, a load of options there, so you can pick what colour shifter plate you want on it, what colour you want the actual unit to be itself, what clamps you want on it, so you can go for the table clamp or you can go on to one that's similar mounting to the TH8 shifter and you can all also add your own logo to it as well. So if you're into YouTube and or, or whatever, you can, you can add your own logo to the shifter. And obviously that's going to take a little bit longer for it to come, but it's an option nevertheless. So I bought this shifter primarily to use in sequential mode. Um, I wanted something with a nice decent click to it and a nice a nice feeling when I was pushing and pulling and going through the gears. Previous to this I was using the THA shifter as a sequential um, and in comparison the TH8 has got nothing on it. TH8 has got a tiny little spring and it's just there's no force to it at all you're basically just pushing forward and pushing back doesn't feel like anything's engaging uh, so that it really takes it out of the immersion so compared to the th8 in this way the the ssh uh, is miles better um, it's got a real nice feeling to it especially for the price that it comes in as well so when it comes to using this in sequential mode it's it really has got a, a great feeling to it. Um, obviously, it's not going to be on par with some of the more expensive shifters out there that give you a, a, a fantastic, more realistic feeling, but this will definitely get the job done. And for under £100, you really can't complain. So, I've been using this as a sequential shifter, as I say, for uh, around six months and I've had absolutely no problems with it at all. It's got a, a great feeling to it. It really does add to the immersion when you're going through the gears. A uh, nice, as I say, positive clunk. Uh, it really does get the job done, especially compared to the TH8. And it's never faltered on me. Uh, it's never missed a gear or it's ne I've never felt like I've been a suffer because of it or every time I go into a gear and engage a gear it's worked great. So obviously this can be used in H pattern mode as well. The cards on the table I haven't really used it that much because I've already got a TH8 in H pattern mode that I have permanently set up so I've only really been using this as a sequential shifter. But I did swap it round and I did um, I did try it for this review. To be honest, it as well gets the job done. It's I'm not too sure what I'd prefer between the TH8 and the SSH with the H pattern. All I know that with how good the sequential is, if I did have a choice of having to go back and, and picking one. I probably will go for the SSH because the H pattern does get the job done. It's it's close, if not on par to the TH8. Um, it actually feels really positive. Again, uh, there's a nice spring action to it. Uh, quite a short throw on it, and yeah, I, I don't see why you'd want to spend 160, 180 quid. However much the TH8 is now, when you can get that for under 100, and it will get the job done. Obviously the parts, um, it doesn't look as quality as the TH8. It is cheaply made on the outside. So the gear knobs and the casing on the outside is machine printed. So it gives it a bit of a, a cheap and tacky look. But internally, it's spot on it's absolutely perfect as i say i've i've had zero issues with it in fact i've had more issues with the tha shifter in the past than i have it at with the ssh so all it would really boil down to you'd be paying more for 
prefer something that looked and felt a little bit better quality, but per performed equally as what a sub £100 shifter is going to do for you. So if you're going to be running this in both sequential and hate pattern mode, it's really easy to switch between the two. You basically just push the gear knob down, twist it, and then that changes the, the mode for you. Uh, there's a little switch on the side as well, so you can just flip that to either hate pattern or sequential, and you're good to go. If you're going to be keeping it in sequential mode, you're probably going to want it keep the plate on it there is a separate plate uh, just for sequential but then if you do want to go back into H pattern after that you've obviously got to take that plate off and put the H pattern one back on so because mine is always in sequential mode i just keep the sequential plate but if you do want to swap plates it's probably going to take you a minute maybe two minutes at the most uh, to swap it all around you've got to take the gear knob off unscrew four screws swap your plates and put it back together it's that simple so that's it not much else to say really um i've had no issues with this shifter at all i think it's a brilliant shifter for the price um you're getting all the quality internally and how it works as you would for a more expensive shifter but you're just lacking materials on the outside um, looks a little bit cheap and you, you're going to want to get your own gear knob because the gear knobs are uh, really hollow uh, cheaply made as well I think when they've made them they've probably made them with the intention that people will go out and just mod them with their own gear, gear uh, knobs anyway although I've been saying I'm going to replace mine for six months and still haven't bothered so <laughs> it does, again gets his job done um, yeah so I think that's pretty much it don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And thanks again for joining and I'll see you on the next video.